breaking news that we are tracking as far as the BRS writing to the Election Commission of India is concerned. In fact, they have requested them to reconsider the withdrawal of its permission given to the Telangana government to disperse the financial assistance under the Raitu Bandhu scheme. So that's the breaking input that we are picking up. Remember, the Election of Commission of India had withdrawn permission to the Telangana government to disburse uh, Rs. 7,350 crore under the Raitu Bandhu scheme. Um, now, we are learning that the latest in that is that uh, BRS has written to the Election Commission. Pragya, my colleague, joins me over the phone lines. Um, Pragya, as far as, you know, this entire row that has broken out over the Raitu Bandhu scheme, we're now picking up that the BRS has written to the Election Commission. What are the details that you're picking up on that front? So basically, this is a very interesting fight uh, because this is very crucial. Also, there's a significant number of farmers in the state. And now BRS is trying to show that uh, because of a complaint of Congress, that this uh, whatever due to the farmers has been restricted, stop the payment that is due to them. Now, they have also written to uh, the ACI saying that it is an ongoing scheme and basically the rabbi uh, 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 season was advanced and that is why the payment came late. Uh, they had announced it earlier, and there is also said that T. Harish Rao is the finance minister. He did not make any uh, statement promoting the scheme. In fact, he was in fact praising the authority for allowing them, for giving them no objection certificate to ensure that the uh, what is due, the payment, what is due to the farmers, uh, should be given to the farmers. To the farmers uh, should be given to the farmers, uh, even if there is uh, election in place. So there is no violation of model code of conduct, and they have been asked. ACI to reconsider their decision and they say that this is for the benefit of the farmers. Now this has every possibility of boomeranging on uh, the opposition party, especially Congress, uh, that has uh, has been saying that, uh, you know, BRSS did wrong and they violated the modal code of conduct because the fight is very closely, uh, is very close and they are, it's a very tightly fought election and both Congress and BRS are vying for the same vote bank. Basically, uh, BRS may try to uh, do is in the last leg of election is to portray Congress anti-farmer is what we are given to understand but Congress is also doing the damage control by saying that they did not want farmers to face any backlash but it is their own uh, minister and in fact one of the uh, candidates in the uh, in the election uh, who has made the statement and ensured that the scheme was stopped in fact the uh, the farmers will not get the benefit and the payment on their due date so uh, it's it will be very interesting to see how it pans out in coming uh, in coming days especially you know tomorrow is the last day of uh, election campaigning who will get the maximum benefit of that and who right. is able to draw home a point that uh, the particular party is against farmers, whether it is BRS or for Congress or what what is the stand that BJP is going to take because BJP is also treading very cautiously on it and saying that they do not want uh, the, uh, the scheme to stop because they know that the farmers will be hurt. They do not want that, but BRS should have been very cautious. Uh, the, in fact, the minister should have been very cautious in ensuring that they abide by all the rules that are model code of conduct uh, that is followed uh, during the election campaign season. Right, Pragya, I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast on that breaking input and also drawing things into perspective as to where this stands. But for the moment, we'd have to leave the conversation at that.